when my sister was growing up, she had, and I'm talking now in the 12 to 16 year old range, she suffered a lot from migraines and headaches. Yes. And, and it never occurred to me, I mean, I never noticed this before, that uh, the sulfur could be a reason for that. Um, it could. Well, you know, a migraine is an inflammatory event. And of course, uh, 12 to 16, that's the uh, onset of uh, puberty, hormonal changes. That's, you know, women are complicated uh, creatures. And each of these events, which is uh, puberty or onset of menstruation, and then pregnancy, because with every pregnancy, first the menstruation stops, and then after the pregnancy, it has to start again. And then finally, at the end of the menstruation, you know, the, per the menopause, all of these things essentially change women from being more like a man who doesn't menstruate to being back to a woman who does. And so it's, it's complicated and it causes or it's fraught with the possibility for, for trouble. And that's why you see uh, some type of illnesses are more common with women. And migraine is definitely one of those. And, uh, and so is fibromyalgia. Anyway, yes. so the sulfur in our groups, don't we? Yeah, so to tie it back together, the sulfur then, of course, is uh, helping this because it helps the immune system and helps the connective tissue and all of the other bits that are involved in this complex dance of health versus not health.